So as you can see, we're at a position now where we're ready to cut and install the skirting. We've got the brackets on, we've got the foil on, we've got the TRV set up. As you can see, there's only eight cutting allowances. The first one being the TRV setup, internal corner, external corner, return manifold, a non-TRV, a flexible internal, a flexible external, and a jointing kit for joining lengths that are longer than six meters. So the skirting starts with a TRV kit or a non-TRV kit. In the instructions, there's two sizes for this. The manual TRV kit is a deduction of 120 mil, and the non-TRV kit is 100 mil. So I'm gonna walk you through the rest of the deductions. As per the instructions, we're now coming up to what we would call a flexible connector kit. This is generally on a bare window and can alter from 45 degrees to various wider and more narrower angles. So there's two ways we can do this. The standard measurement for a 45 degree cut is 50 millimeters. However, there is a top tip. So if you've got, if the bare window or the angle of the wall is more uh, obtuse, the little tip is to get two little offcuts of aluminium like this, using them as a template. Offer them up against the wall. That will find the angle. Mark either side of the skirting on the wall, like so, and take a deduction from that. Moving around to the external corner, as you can again see, this is an external 45. Uh, and again, we're gonna follow the same steps. We're gonna use the 50 mil deduction if it is an exact 45. If not, we refer back to our little template. We again, off it up against the wall, take a marking and take a measurement. The instructions do say that it's 50 mil deduction for an internal or external 45 degree angle. So the next corner is the internal corner. Obviously, this is the most common corner that we have. And you can see from the elbow that it's elongated. One side is longer than the other. And the long side takes the expansion of the skirting. It doesn't matter whether this is an anti-clockwise feed or a clockwise feed, we always start off with the large side of the elbow in this piece of skirting with a 35 millimeter deduction, leaving a 20 mil deduction for the following piece. This is made quite clear on the cutting sheet. So from this piece, I'm gonna take my tape measure from the internal corner to the mark that I marked on the wall with the pencil, which was the 50 mil deduction for the flexible connector kit, and I'm gonna deduct a further 35 mil from this piece. So this piece is actually registering at 300 millimetres, so the deduction for that length is 85 millimetres. So the next measurement, we're going to take a measurement from wall to wall. Internal to internal is the most common measurement we've got. So we measure wall to wall, we take the deduction of 20 mil from this side, we take 35 mil from that side, so in total this length is 1930 and we're going to deduct 55 millimetres. So this next piece is just to replicate exactly what we've just done on the previous piece. So again, it's internal corner to internal corner, 1570. We make the 35 and 20 deduction, which is 55 in total. We take that off the piece and that's the cutting allowance for that piece. The next piece is an internal to external. And we already know that the internal deduction is 20 mil and the external deduction is actually zero. There's no deduction for an external corner, which clearly states there on the cutting sheet. This measurement is 420. Just going to deduct the 20 mil for the internal. That gives us a 400 mil piece of skirting. So the last piece is an external corner to a return manifold. The return manifold is the end of the run. Um, the deduction for the end of the run is 60 mil. So we take no deduction for the external, 60 for the return manifold. The overall size is 290. Deducting the 60 leaves us with a 230 mil piece.